In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Layer 2 service profile in order to enable other Equinix customers to directly connect to your services. I'm logged into the Equinix Fabric portal as a user, and here is the Layer 2 service profile creation page. Under the Details section, enter a name for your service profile and provide a brief description of the service being offered. Please be sure to include your company name and the service being offered. For example, Cisco WebEx or AWS Direct Connect. You may include a hyperlink to your own website or simply provide a description of your services and use the formatting options available under the description field. As shown in this service profile card preview, the name entered will serve as an identifier for other users to locate your service. By default, your service profile is set to private, which allows you to selectively grant access to Fabric customers to view and connect to your service. You can choose to make your profile public in order to allow any Fabric customer to view and connect to your service. Additionally, you can choose to opt in to have your service profile displayed on other Equinix websites. Under the additional settings, you have the option to select tags for the services available to customers via this service profile. In the location section, select the region where your services will be available. In order to qualify selected regions as available zones, you are required to select at least one active port. You may also check this box to select all eligible ports available in the location. As you scroll down, the Additional Settings section provides optional checkboxes to allow users to create remote connections to your service locations, use API integration, create redundant secondary connection, and set bandwidth usage alerts. Please note that the API integration option is only available if you have worked with Equinix to develop an API-integrated automation to your private connection services. In the Bandwidth section, select the required connection bandwidth tiers, and click Next. Under the Configuration section, additional options are available to configure authentication key requirements and bandwidth change requests. Service customization allows you to further customize your service profile. You can create a custom name, add custom fields, and create a custom connection process that best describes your services. The Review section provides a brief summary of all the information entered in the previous steps and allows an option to edit any details if required. Click here to complete creating the Layer 2 service profile. That concludes this demo. Thanks for watching.